Hello, it's Heather and Phil, and we are at the Tennessee Aquarium. And tonight, the Chattanooga Fire Cabaret, which is a group of people that perform with fire. They spin fire around on batons and all sorts of other things. I'm sure there's a way better way to describe it than that. But it's, it's really beautiful to watch. And they're gonna put on a show tonight. The, the aquarium has actually been closed today. I think it's a, an event for Volkswagen, Volkswagen Family Day or something like that. And we've been invited to come and photograph the Chattanooga Fire Cabaret. We're really excited. Heather has her Canon R7 and uh, I've got her hooked up with three lenses because we're not sure exactly what we're going to need. She has the 24-70 to 2.8, the 70-200 to 2.8, and the nifty 50 50 millimeter 1.8. I've got the Sony a6700 and I have the Sigma 18-50 to 2.8, the 11 millimeter ultra wide 1.8, and I've got the Samyang 35-150 to f2-2.8. to So hopefully we're going to be able to get some cool shots. All right, we're gonna start with my photos and I used the A6700 and the Samyang 35 to 150 2.8. And for the first part of the show, I shot wide open. So here's a 35 millimeter shot at F2. And this performer is Juno Mars. And you can find her on Instagram, Juno underscore Mars underscore. And we really enjoyed her performance. I sat on the left-hand side so I could try to get the bridge in the background and later you'll see Heather's shots and she sat in the center in the front of the stage and she was able to sit on a manhole cover. I sat in the grass and ended up getting my pants pretty wet, but I wanted that bridge pretty bad. I photographed the Chattanooga Fire Cabaret many times over the years and I've never been to a show where anybody did fire breathing. So I don't know if that's new for the Chattanooga Fire Cabaret or just something that wasn't happening at the shows that I attended, but it was really awesome to see Juno Mars here doing some fire breathing with the bridge in the background. Just really, really fun. I missed a lot of the shots because the fire was going out of the shot and I wanted the fire to be contained in the shot and I ended up shooting this shot 42 millimeters with the camera vertical and almost missed the fire in this one. Gosh, I wish I had centered her up a little bit better instead of her being slightly to the left of the frame. This is another shot. These two are right together. 42 millimeters, 1 640th, f2.2, and ISO 100. This performer's name is Craig Steele, and he is on Instagram. He does some really beautiful artwork that you can find on Instagram. Steele, S-T-E-E-L-E, -E -E, Artifacts, A-R-T-I-F-A-X. So check him and his artwork out on Instagram. And he was doing some rope tricks with a ball of fire on the end, which was really cool to see. I thought it was cool when you could catch his eyes right on his fireball that he was spinning around on the end of his rope. And he would wrap the rope around his neck and around his arms and, and wind it up and, and unwind it and sling it way in the distance. It was really cool to see, as you can see here. And here's a, here's a shot of him slinging it way in the distance. I think I cropped this one to 16 by nine. And as you can see, there was a lot of bright sunlight on the background in these shots. And the foreground, the performers were actually in shade. So it was a tricky exposure. I tried to expose in such a way that the background wouldn't be completely blown out. And I just lifted the shadows to make it where there was some light on the performers. Here's a 50 millimeter shot at f2.2 and a 40 millimeter shot at f2.0. Very entertaining performance Craig put on, as you can see in these shots. And I was really happy to, to have the bridge in my shots. I wasn't happy with the cars parked on the road in between where the performance was and where the bridge was. But on this shot, I cropped it in such a way that there were no cars in the shot. And this 92 millimeter shot really compressed the bridge. So the bridge looks closer than it actually is. Here's one of those situations where he's wrapping the rope around his neck as he's spinning the fireball around and he's probably just about to release it and send it slinging in another direction as seen here. This performer's name is Shayna and you can find her on Instagram Shayna Spins. That's Shayna underscore spins and I photographed her a few times with the Chattanooga Fire Cabaret. She always puts on a nice show and she always has a smile on her face which I think is it makes the photography easier when the performer is always smiling or almost always smiling. She had kind of a, a skirt of fire with a couple of little fire things on her hands and she danced around and it was, it was entertaining and it was cool to get these shots of her as she put on her performance. And look, you can see the heat coming off of this fire 
causing distortion in the in the visuals which is interesting looking here's another example of it you know a lot of this down here this is just bokeh but up here this is bokeh and heat distortion combining to to uh, make the bridge look blurry in the background this next performer is lucy and you can find her on instagram at lucy's.balloons.and.events she also does um, some balloon work and some clown work and you'll see her on stilts sometimes she does all sorts of performances but here with the chattanooga fire cabaret she was doing some dancing and hula hooping with her hula hoop of fire which i thought was pretty cool i like this shot because you've got her kind of rule of thirds on the left hand side and the bridge occupying the space on the right hand side of the frame i was so happy that i didn't cut this very top part of the fire off uh, and i think the shot was a little bit crooked and when i straightened it up the fire was almost cut off but fortunately it wasn't cut off because that would have ruined this shot and she was the first performer to kind of put her fire apparatus out by sticking it in her mouth and there were some children just behind where heather and i were shooting and right when this shot was taking place the little boy went oh no because he thought she was going to burn herself but she knows what she's doing this next performer is part of a spooky crow sideshow you can find them on instagram as spooky crow sideshow all one word and he did a very nice show with this fiery baton and you can see the bridge in the background that's this is a 114 millimeter shot and the bridge is really compressed and looking close in this one and it was very entertaining as i mentioned this performer i don't know her name or where you can find her on instagram other than at the chattanooga fire cabaret's instagram site but she was Princess Peach. Everybody is, um, I think everybody was Bowser from, from Mario Kart, but she came out as Princess Peach and twirled this apparatus around. It was, it was really fun. And I love her tiny crown and she always had a nice smile. So it was, it was good to photograph her. And now we're on the second round of entertainers. Juno Mars came back out with a different apparatus. Instead of breathing fire, she was using these devices which I, I don't know what they're actually called unfortunately but she did a really nice job and she was very photogenic as you can see here as she put on her show with her fire dance we're just about to get to golden hour and i still wish there had been some better light on the performers but at least the background is getting prettier and prettier a lot of smoke coming off the fire in this shot and i love her eye contact as you can see here she's really looking at the fire as she dances which is what everyone else is looking at as well here's another example of that as she waves the devices with the fire and cross in front of her and now i think she's spinning them and taking a look at the crowd there was quite a few people there probably in the hundreds maybe even a thousand i switched to f5.6 to try to get the bridge a little bit more in focus and maybe slow my shutter speed down some and this is Spooky Crow Sideshow, and this would be definitely my favorite shot of the day as these two breathe fire at the same time. Both of them are adding fuel to this fireball that they're making, which was really, really cool. And I was so happy to catch this shot. And because I was at F5.6, both of their faces are in focus. So I got lucky with that change. And check out this next shot. Wow. I wish I knew her name. She's half of spooky crow sideshow and this is another one that worked out well to crop to 16 by 9 so i'll show you this full screen which may not be the best for instagram or facebook but it's definitely the best way to present a photograph on youtube is in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio 41 millimeters f5.6 still using the samyang 1 640th of a second in this shot she blew fire while laying on the ground on her back and then he blew some of his fuel right into her fireball i wish i had caught it where they where fire was coming out of both of their mouths at the same time but i missed it by just a little bit but you can still kind of see what is happening here here we have craig Steele back on the stage and i think this apparatus he's using is called a dragon staff and he was very skilled with it he could twirl it around and spin it around and, and roll it down his arms and across his back really fascinating to watch and also it looks like he may have made this t-shirt himself with looks like bowser's 
growling face on the front and Bowser's turtle shell on the back, which is really, really cool. And now Lucy is back for her second round with not a hula hoop this time, this time a different apparatus that she danced around with and put on a really nice show. Caught her smile in here, which is always good to catch the performer when they're smiling. And now this is the performer whose name I don't know. She was Princess Peach before, but this time she has a staff with fire on both ends that she twirled and put on a nice show. And then she also balanced it on her head for a moment, which was really cool. And now this is the grand finale of her show and she's smiling that she has successfully balanced the fire beam on her head. It was cool. And now we have both performers from Spooky Crow Sideshow back. And I think what they're doing now, this is a technique I think I could be completely mistaken. I think this is called a candle when they have this stick with fire on it and they take some fuel into their mouth and, and blow just a small fire, not a huge fireball like they were doing earlier. Like I say, I think this is called a candle. And they did a really nice job. Their, their performance is really fluid as they kind of take turns. One of them will be fueling up and the other one will be doing the trick. And so there's always something to watch. And then sometimes they'll they'll perform the, the trick at the same time together, which is also cool. But like I say, I think this is called a candle. In this one, they're doing two candles at once, I think. And now Shayna is back in her Bowser costume as she is using a different apparatus than last time. And look, I don't know, the sparks coming off of her fire I thought were really cool looking in this particular shot. It's definitely a different look than most of the fire in this show. You can see some more examples of that in this shot. And I love this family walking by down the road because just on just behind their stage is a public sidewalk. And this family is getting a nice view of Shayna and her show as she's putting it on. And as I mentioned before, it's always cool to photograph Shayna because she smiles a lot when you're photographing her and while she performs. And to finish the show off, all the performers came out onto the stage at the same time, which was cool to watch. And I switched lenses really quick. I put on the Sigma 18 to 50, and this is a 23.7 millimeter shot. I put the camera right next to the ground and made a few shots at the end of the show as everyone was performing at the same time. Well, it's not everyone yet. It's almost everyone. Now we're getting closer to having everyone out there at the same time. All the performers kind of uh, doing a little grand finale for the crowd. Now let's look at Heather's shots and she did all of her shots with the Canon R7 and she used the 24-70 f2.8 which is a great lens and she did a fantastic job. Heather had never photographed the Chattanooga Fire Cabaret or any fire performers before and she did an outstanding job. Here's a 35 millimeter shot of Juno Mars at the beginning of the show and here is another shot 24 millimeters to catch Juno's fireball that she's blowing and another shot of that variety, 24 millimeters again. Just really, really fun to photograph these performances and Heather did a great job. Here's Craig Steele with his rope tricks again and Heather did a fantastic job capturing him, especially this shot. I think he liked it as well. I think he has shared this himself on social media. So really proud that she did such a great job capturing these performances. I think possibly not having the bridge with the bright direct sunlight on it might have helped her bag exposures pretty well because she did a fantastic job and I don't think that she had to lift her shadows as much as I did. Pretty cool shot of Craig kind of checking out the crowd while he's working on his show. Man, I wish they had closed it off to where there was no parking available right behind where the show was going on. These shots are fantastic except for that Honda sitting there. He'll take that rope and, and wrap it around his legs, as you can see here. That's why his leg's up like that, because he's, he's either just unwrapped it from his leg or he's about to wrap it around his leg. And you can see he's made several turns around his fingers in this shot. And now he's unwinding and slinging it out for the distance. Really cool. Uh, looks like a full turn and, and a half around his neck in this shot. You don't want to mess that up. It could get pretty hot pretty quickly. Here's Shayna with, I guess that might be a skirt of fire that she's got working there and also a baton. Let's see, she got a baton in this shot and some other fiery devices in this shot. And as always, a smile. Fancy footwork going on here and still a smile. You can see a little bit of mud on her boots because 
it's strange. We've been in a drought situation, but the grass in this area was really wet and I was sitting in that. So I, uh, I, got, <laughs> I got pretty dirty making these shots. But Heather, like I say, she was on a manhole cover, so she stayed nice and dry. Here's Lucy, and it looks like Heather's caught her completely airborne in this shot, really cool. I like this shot with Lucy framed up here and got her eye on, on her hand as she's working the apparatus. It looks like here she's just about to start hula hooping that thing. And now one of the members of Spooky Crow Sideshow is working on his performance. And this is a drone. Somebody, I'm not sure who, somebody had a drone in the air probably making video of the performance with the crowd in the background. So that's really cool. A little bit more from Spooky Crow Sideshow. Look at all the fire coming off that baton all the way down here. And you can see that same, well, it looks like one side was burning a little bit more than the other side. Look how far the fire comes off on that side. Another example of that. Spooky Crow Sideshow puts on a very good show. Here's the other member of Spooky Crow Sideshow. Here's Heather's shot of the performer whose name I don't know, who was playing Princess Peach. I like that shot because the fiery apparatus is taking up just about the entire screen, and I like her eye contact with both the apparatus and the crowd in the background. And now Juno Mars is back. I think she cropped this one 16 by 9. I love to, to full screen the 16 by 9 shots. Looks like she's Still wide open at f2.8 and 1 500th of a second here. Another shot of Juno Mars. You know, sometimes when you photograph fire performers, you use a really slow shutter speed and a tripod, and you just get the streaks of fire in the air, but you can't see the performers in those shots. They're always just a blur. And I think they prefer to be photographed in such a way that you can see them. Like this shot's a great example. You can see the fire, it's not making uh, long exposure streaks. It just looks like fire, but you can really see the performer. And I think that was what they were looking for. Another great shot by Heather of Juno Mars and another of Juno Mars as she makes great eye contact during her performance. And now we're in the fire blowing part of Spooky Crow Sideshow's performance. They were really something to watch. There was a little bit of breeze in the air and as you can see in this shot, the breeze was blowing from the left to the right. So when he blew his fireball straight up, it went off to the right. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on if you're making fireballs. There's another shot of Spooky Crow Sideshow blowing fire. Here's Heather's shots of Craig with the dragon staff. She captured some really nice shots as he spins and rolls that thing all over his body with lots of fire coming off of it. As you can see here, he's probably about to roll the dragon staff down his left arm as it spins and now around on his neck and possibly on his back as well. Here's Heather's shots of Lucy as she makes her second trip to the stage, this time with a different apparatus as the first time she had the hula hoop and Heather's caught her smiling here as she works her apparatus and smiles at the crowd. And here's Heather's shots of the performer whose name I don't know as she dances with her staff of fire, which is really cool. And she did a nice job with her performance and Heather did a nice job capturing it. Here she is at towards the end of the performance when she balanced it on her head, which was entertaining. Here's Heather's shots of Shayna as she's back for her second part of the show. And Heather's shutter speed's down to 1 80th, which made it tricky to keep the performers in focus and I kind of take the blame for that because I think I recommended a slow shutter speed to Heather and we couldn't talk any during the performance but I think really a faster shutter speed was better and I had trouble when I tried the slow shutter speed that I recommended as well. A little fire eating going on here. This is towards the grand finale. Here's Juno Mars in the finale part of the show and Heather didn't have anything wider than 24 millimeters. So she wasn't able to capture all the performers at the end of the show like I did when I changed lenses and put on the 18 millimeter Sigma. Love this shot of Juno Mars. She's looking right at Heather and smiling. Really cool shot. Another shot of Juno Mars. A lot of fire coming off of the apparatus that she's using. Big smile from Juno as the show is winding down. And here is Heather's last shot. Man, we enjoyed photographing the Chattanooga Fire Cabaret. Well, that was a lot of fun to shoot. They were really entertaining. Uh, I wish it had started just a little bit later. It was just a little bit too bright outside and there was no light on them. So we're definitely gonna have to pull the shadows like crazy. But Heather said she made 6,000 shots. I don't know how many I made, but I filled up a 128 gigabyte memory card 
and then put in a 64 and shot some more. So it's going to be a long time to go through these pictures. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell. Bye-bye.